week so far. For our craft this week, we're going to be doing a DIY banjo that you can make with some rubber bands and some plates and a paint stick. So I would definitely recommend plastic plates as they are a lot more sturdy um, when it comes to putting the rubber bands over them to make our banjo. Paper plates will often fold and crinkle because they're not strong enough. However, if that's all you have at home, it is okay. Um, it's actually what I have at home. So in that case, you'll just need to put a couple, maybe two to three stack to increase the sturdiness. So I'm going to do some sturdier paper plates behind this paper plate since I don't have plastic. But actually, I really like the look of this because it makes it look like a red banjo with a really cool outline on the side. So I think it really works. And then go ahead and grab some rubber bands. Don't forget your stapler and your paint stick and some markers and stickers if you want. And the last thing we'll need is a dab of glue so that we can attach the neck to the base. All right, so let's get going with our step one. So if you do have the plastic plates, I would still double plate it up to two plates. Go ahead and have your child stack them so that you can get ready if they're old enough to staple on their own or if you need to help, have them staple about four staples around just so it's nice and tight. Um, and then as far as if you have paper plates, It'll be a little trickier to staple <laughs> um, with this many. I've got like four in a row here, but I think that this may be strong enough. Let's see. Yes, it is. It actually is strong enough for all four that I have to hold my uh, paper plates. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other three staples on on all corners. All right, so step two is decorating this banjo base. So before we add our strings, which are the rubber bands, go ahead and decorate and bejewel your banjo however your kids want to. So have fun with this part. You can grab some like markers, some paint. If you wanna do stickers on the side, you can definitely get creative. So I hope you have fun decorating yours. So now that our plates are all decorated, we are ready to add our rubber bands. All right, so it should look something like this at the end. It's beginning to look like a banjo. So our next step is to prepare the neck of our banjo and adding just a few details can make it look a lot more real. All right, for step five, we are gonna be gluing the neck onto the base. So go ahead and grab some glue, put a nice size glob here and paste it right to the back. And you're gonna wanna hold this for a couple minutes so that it really dries. And definitely don't pick it up until it's fully dry because you don't want it to break off. Okay, so my banjo has been sitting and drying for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I'm still going to be a little careful with it, but I want to show you the finished look because I'm so excited. Here is our banjo. I hope you enjoyed this craft so much. This is sure to be a fun toy for the kids to play with. And hopefully these are all things you just had around the home so you don't have to go out and buy anything. I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope that you make many banjos. Thanks for watching.